Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from the Overspirit Tech, and if you're anything like me that have 9,000 projects for your Raspberry Pi and not 9,000 SD cards, you might want to back up all your images so to your local computer so you could have them for later uses. So what we're going to be doing today is backing up and shrinking your Raspberry image to your local computer. Let's get started. So what we're going to need today is anything with Linux installed. You could actually use your Raspberry Pi to do this whole task, but you're going to need some sort of SD card large enough to hold the SD card you're trying to back up. Or you could use a computer that has Linux installed, or in our case, we're actually going to be doing this off a virtual machine on our Windows computer using VirtualBox. Okay, so to start off, what I usually do is um, use Win32 Disk Imager to grab the image from the SD card to my desktop. Now to make it easier, I'm just going to make a folder called Pi on my desktop. That way it's easier for me to share in the future. Open Win32 Disk Imager. Point to that location, Desktop Pi, and I'm gonna name it my last week's project. That way I know what's going on with this uh, image. So it's open, have, and I usually put a date, of the day I backed up. Click open, read, and it's gonna pull the image from the SD card. Now this is gonna take a while, so go grab a coffee and we'll come back to this in a second. All right guys, now that we finished transferring the SD image to our hard drive, you're gonna see that it's a 16 gigabyte file. Now, if you got a lot of hard drive space and you don't care about transfer speeds, you can keep it as is and you're done with the backup. But for those who are interested in shrinking the volume, I'm gonna show you what I did on my VirtualBox to get this all set up. Now, I'm gonna create a new one, and I'm gonna name it UBU because I already got one called Ubuntu. And I give it about two gigs of RAM and create a new hard drive. Now this has to reflect the size of your SD card. So if you've got a 16 gigabyte hard SD card, you might want to go over and put in 32 gigabytes here. If you've got a 64 gigabyte you know, SD card and so forth and so forth, you want to make the hard drive size bigger so you can actually store the image. In. All right, now that we have our Ubuntu running and Guestbox additions installed, next thing we have to do is actually attach our shared directory from our desktop to our Ubuntu machine. So. And here we go to devices, shared folders, shared machine folders, add, and I'm gonna look for the Pi folder from our desktop. Okay, auto mount, make permanent, okay, okay. Okay, now that that is up and running, we need to get to a terminal. So you could actually click on the start menu or and search for terminal. If I could spell that correctly or control alt T. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, from here, we're gonna mount our share. So mount type vboxsf and the name of the share, which is pi. And if you forgot or you need to know how to go back to get to it, share folders and you're gonna see the name pi. And here, we're gonna mount it to media slash Don slash vbox. I actually created a folder earlier. And now if I go over to CD Media Don Vbox, you're gonna see my open hab image that we extracted earlier using Win32 Disk Imager. Now we're gonna have to copy this from open hab to our home folder or anywhere located in our Ubuntu machine. CP is actually pretty good. I actually prefer PV so I know what's going on. So I'm going to use PV, open hab, open bracket, home, done, and then call it open hab 420016.img. The reason why you like to use PV is because it shows me a progress bar of how long it's going to take. So again, transferring this will take a few minutes. So sit back, have a sip of coffee or something like that, and we'll come right back to this. That is all done transferring. Here comes the tedious part. So let's CD back into our home directory. And we're gonna do ls lh. And you're gonna see that this is actually 15 gigs. Okay, from here we're gonna do sudo fdisk because we're gonna to need to pull a number from here. List open hab. All right, let's open up a notepad because we're gonna need to remember all this. So g edit, text editor. Or you could write this down on paper and pen or something. Now we're gonna need this start size. 
So I'm going to write star 131072. So from here, sudo lo setup, we're going to set up a loop device, call it dev slash loop zero, our image called open hab, options, and it's going to be dollar dollar, dollar sign open parentheses 131072 times 512. And you're going to see that we have this little new device that just popped up. From here, we're going to use gparted. Now, if you haven't had that, if you don't got that installed, you just do sudo app get install gparted. And that should install the program that we need. So if you got it installed already, sudo gparted dev loop zero. From here, now we could actually see the image of our device. And you're going to see this is yellow. That means the space that we actually used. And the white is actually the space we have not used. So click on the partition, resize and move. Now here it tells you the size. Minimum size that I could shrink it down to is 3771. I like to use about 20 megabytes above that, that just to be safe. So I'm going to type here 377, 3791. So that's about 20 megabytes. And you see how it automatically just shrinks it? Resize and move. Now nothing happened yet until we hit this little check mark. So next up, we're going to hit the check and apply. Here we're going to need to jot down another number. Now open up details and open up the shrink. And I'm going to wait until this uh, completes this task. And you're going to see a new thing pop up. From here, you see how I expanded shrink volume size? And it says resize 2FS. And there's a number at the end. We're going to need that number. So we're going to put resized. And I'm going to put 3881984 capital K okay, for kilobytes. We close this, and now we could close this. And here we're done with resizing. But if you notice, it still says 15 gigs. The next step is to unmount so we could F disk the partition. So basically, unmount, I'm going to detach dev loop zero. And now I'm going to mount the actual whole partition, or the whole image. Now that I mount the whole image, I'm going to do sudo f disk dev loop zero. It's quick to go through all these options. You can actually read through them by pressing M. But what we're going to do is delete partition two. All right, now we're going to create a new partition primary default is two now here the first sector what we want to change is one three one zero seven two you know the number that we jotted down earlier next is where do we end it so what we're going to do is the plus sign that's very important you need the plus sign so it's plus three eight eight one nine eight four capital k and then when we're done with that right we could do sudo f disk list dev loop zero and remember this new number so I'm gonna put end seven eight nine five zero three no nine seven from yeah okay now I'm gonna detach the device see detach that now I can truncate if that's how you say it dollar sign three parentheses things and that's the new number that we need which is the seven seven eight nine five zero three nine plus one just to be safe times five twelve close the two brackets and we're gonna name it open head now that is done if I do LS list you're gonna see the new image size is three point eight now we could transfer this back. PV open hab media done V box and I'm gonna call this open hab light. 
We should now see it on our desktop called the light image and it's only 39 gigs. To put this back onto our SD card, you guys should already know this using Win32 Disk Imager and then selecting this new version. And you can delete this old one. It's no longer needed because now we shrunk the image to what we need. And once you get back to Raspberry Pi, just remember to use Raspi config and expand the disk size again. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Now you can back up all your images till your heart desires or until you run out of space. Now, if you want to do something crazy like what I did is I actually took an image, stripped it of all the programs that I don't usually use, then configured everything that I will use. Example, I removed the LibreOffice and uh, Mathematica, some applications that I don't use, stripped down all the programs that I don't need. Then I configured it for Wi-Fi and Ethernet so I know the IP address every time I stick in this SD card. So I did all that then shrunk the image to I think about two gigs or something like that so every time when I load it instead of loading a four gig image from Raspbian itself it loads my personal image called Raspbian Lite and it literally has everything pre-configured so once I pop it in I know the IP address I know what programs are installed and I know where to get started and all I need to do is uh, Raspberry Pi config to expand the hard drive again. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions, hit it up in the comments below. I know there are better ways to do this or there are different ways to do this. If you want to write that down in the comments below so other people can read it also. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot. Also gives you notification of when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, heck till it hurts. As soon as you press that LED, Raspberry Pi LED, see how responsive that is? Hey guys, thanks for watching.